Let's look at the use of all capitals. Text set in all capital letters is way more difficult to read than regular lowercase text. We don't read letter by letter. We read in phrases. When you read, you glance at a word, you recognize it, and you move on. If we look at this example right here, let's check these out. I'll increase their size a little bit. Try to read this text. It says, according to research at an English university, it doesn't matter in what order the letters in a word are. The only important thing is, is that the first and last letter is in the right place. The rest can be a total mess, and you can still read it without problems. This is because we do not need to read every letter by itself, but the word as a whole. This is the exact same paragraph, but it's set in all capitals. Reading this paragraph is probably not too problematic for you, but if you try to read this one, it becomes much more difficult. Notice how the scrambled paragraph is readable. You may have to slow down slightly, but you can certainly read the text. After looking and reading this paragraph, notice how much more difficult it is to read in all caps. Just some things to think about. Many studies have shown that all caps are much more difficult to read. We recognize words not only by their letter groups, but also by their letter shapes. These are sometimes called coastlines. When a word is said in all caps, we have to read it letter by letter, rather than by recognizing groups of letters. If you need a block of text set in all caps, or if you put a block of text set in all caps, notice how much slower you read it and how much more straining it is on your eyes. It's a well-documented phenomena in cognitive psychology. People recognize words by their shape. Ever notice how much easier it is to read and recognize lowercase text? See how much harder it is to read text in all caps? It's because words look like a featureless block. Instead of sporting nice ascenders and descenders, these give you a clue as to what the letter forms contain. This is also why it's really important um, kind of interestingly enough, this is also why uh, really important bits of legal documents are very small and they're always set in all caps. It's purposely done to reduce reading comprehension. They don't really want you to read the contract. Can you recognize these animal words? Which one of these says dog? Which one says pig? Which one says cat? Well, it looks like just about any of these could say any of these things. What about now? Which one says cat? Which one says pig? Which one says dog? You can probably figure it out because of the ascenders and descenders. If I go ahead and let this fade in, it goes ahead and fades in the words. But you can definitely, even without the words being here, you know that this says cat because the T is the only thing that ascends. Or dog is going to have an ascender and a descender. Pig has two descenders. It's kind of interesting to be able to look at this. We don't read letter by letter. We read in phrases. When you read, you glance at a word, you recognize it, and you move on. A significant factor in our recognizing the whole word is the shape of the word. When words are said in all caps, every word has a rectangular shape, with only the width of the rectangle changing. This forces your user to slow down and to have to look at every single letter. Other things that you never want to do when using all caps. Do not set strange looking fonts in all caps, especially calligraphy, script, or even many italic fonts. Notice how the words below become almost impossible to read. Can you read this one? It's really very difficult to read. This is set at Oxida 16 point. Here, this is set at Oxida 16 point, but it's not set at all caps, and it says, can you read me now? This one says, can you read me? But it's basically unreadable because of how it's used. All caps take up more space with lowercase letters. You can make the type size bigger and bolder in the same amount of space. This is usually much more effective and efficient. So you can see here, these are all set at 12 point Futura. This says, I am written in all capitals, really. This one says, I am written in all capitals, not really. And you can see, even though it has one more word in it, it still is taking up less horizontal space than what's above. And this one is, says, I am written in all capitals, okay, no. This is written in bold, lowercase letters. You can see it is still not really even taking up as much room as what was written in all caps. So, you know, this is more efficient and your words are going to have more meaning set in bold if you're trying to emphasize something here. 
title case, when to use and when not to. Mixing lowercase and caps in the same sentences makes type less legible and less readable. Your eyes and brain have to figure out what's going on because we're not used to reading this way. This is called title case and it's meant for titles, not sentences or captions. Don't do this. Small caps. Small caps are upper case capital letters that are about the same size of normal lowercase letters in any given typeface. Small caps are less intrusive when an all uppercase appears within normal text or can be used for special emphasis and for design effect. Sometimes an article or chapter opening begins with the first line or part of the first line in small caps, as shown right here. This is a simple and effective way to lead the reader into the text. Some font sets have a small cap letter form that have been totally redesigned to visually match the large cap as used in paragraphs. And in many applications, you can turn selected letters into small caps. This, uh, this, although this sometimes creates a proportional distortion. Small caps are often used in acronyms, things like NASDAQ or NASA. Using small caps does not create an overwhelming visual presence, but still calls attention to these things. They are also often used when specifying AM and PM. The advantage of small caps in these situations um, as opposed to standard capital letters in the middle of the sentence is that a standard capital letter is going to call way too much attention to themselves. The small caps blend in better with the text, but they still stand out a little bit. So that's when you should use small caps. In summary, the caps shout. Do you really need to be shouting to make yourself heard? When you write in all capital letters, this looks like, and maybe even sounds like, to the recipient as if you were shouting. Writing in all caps is like shouting. This is why you should use all caps sparingly. It is a strong effect and should remain one. Imagine someone shouting all the time. Not only would it mean little when he shouted, it's also more difficult to understand somebody who shouts. Similarly, text in uppercase is significantly more difficult to read than lower and mixed case text. Occasionally, you may have a very good reason for setting your text in all caps. Sometimes you want a rectangular shape, and sometimes it can work well in very short blocks of text or in a heading. Sometimes a particular look can, not only, can only be created with all caps. Just be aware of the inherent problems and make sure you are not sacrificing legibility for design, or at least if you are, it's justified. Make sure that you are aware of and that you are exchanging legibility for design and that it is warranted. Hopefully now you feel a little more comfortable about when and when not to use all caps. Pretty much, you only want to use all caps very, very sparingly and in certain situations. Most of the time it sacrifices readability and legibility.